So welcome back to Onza Sports Park. And we have just one more match here on quarterfinals day at the Denise and Denmark Open. And we've had seven previous matches and just the men's doubles. Uh, like the women's doubles, it features the number one seeds. And it's Marcus Fenaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio up against the unseeded pair from Japan, Takoro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. Well, as far as the men's doubles draw is concerned, by quarter-final stage, we only had three seats, just one in the top half, which is the number one seats. But, uh, of course, Asan and Setiwan are two-time former world champions, so uh, not surprising there in the semi-final. The bottom half of the draw, the number four seeds, Komora and Sonoda, came through against teammates. Very, very close two games. And a big, big upset uh, uh, in the bottom quarter because Ellison Langridge, in the second round, beat the world champions, Lee Jin Hui and Liu Yu Chen. And then... As you can see in the quarterfinal, beat uh, Liao Min Chun and Su Jin Heng of Chinese Taipei. That was three games there, saved a match point at 19.20. Ellis and Langridge in that deciding game. From Indonesia, Marcos Penaldi, Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamojo. So we'll either have uh, two Indonesian pairs at semi-final stage or two Japanese pairs. Here come the current world and number ones. Marcus Van Alde Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio. And, Yugo Kobayashi. and now the left and right-handed combination of Takuro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. the left-hander Kobayashi. Well, in the last tournament they played, they reached the final. Well, that was the Korean Open. They were lost in the final to teammates Endo and Watanabe. So this will be an eighth meeting between these two pairs. The seven previous meetings all were won by Gideon and Sukamolio. So seven Max. love the head-to-heads. But the last three times it's gone to three games. The last time they met was in the second round of that Hong Kong Open. Which won 14 in the deciding game in 48 minutes. So there's no doubt the Japanese pair are getting closer to beating this Indonesian pair, but they haven't managed it yet. Well, as far as the Indonesians are concerned, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon is 27 years of age now born in Jakarta and they are currently enjoying their 68th week in total as world number ones. Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio, 23 years of age, born in Bankiwangi on the easternmost end of Java and they're making their third appearance here as a pair. They reached the final last year when they were beaten by Ilu Cheng and Zhang Nang, the then world champions. Well, in the first round, they beat He Ji Ting and Tang Chiang, a pair who've beaten them in the past. Close second game, as you can see, but it was still only 30 minutes. And then yesterday against Lamsfuss and Seidel of Germany. Slightly longer, 32 minutes. They do tend to do things in double quick time, this Indonesian combination. So to Tokoro Hoki, 23 years of age, as indeed is his partner. They're 21 on the world ranking at the moment, but they have been five places higher 
in fact, four weeks across three different spells of being 15 in the world. And they, like their opponents, are making their third appearance here at the Denmark Open. Last year, they lost in the first round to their opponents of today, Gideon and Sukamolio, in three games. 21-10 it was in the third game a year ago. This year, they beat Ongan Tio of Malaysia in three games in the first round. And then yesterday beat Birian Griawan and Hardy Anto, the Indonesian pair who had put out the number six seeds, Mads Konrad and Mads Koling, the Danish combination, in the very first round. So Jesper Larsen are on par for this one. Jan Andersson from Sweden is the service judge. Well, good to hear some noisy fans are still here at almost 11 o'clock in the evening. To serve. To Kobayashi. Love all. Play. Oh. Oh. Asian Games gold medalists on home soil. Gideon and Sukumolio. And six finals from nine tournaments so far this year, nine individual tournaments. And those six finals, they won six titles. Oh. They haven't lost a final this year. Two, one. They won nine finals last year, winning oh. seven titles. They really have been totally dominant over the last couple of years. start to the year, did Three, this Japanese two. combination. Lost first round after first round. In fact, six first round losses for them. Progress further than the first round. Four, two. Serve. He managed to tumble that shuffle on the serve. Somehow sort of chops underneath at the cork. Makes the shuttle tumble as it goes across the net. Perfectly legal. 
mustn't strike the feathers first. You've got to strike the cork first. Oh. Yeah, well taken from Hopi. short rallies with these two men's doubles pairs, especially Gideon and Sulkamolio. Doubt if we've oh. had a rally over 20 shots so far. Pushing the, the 20 mark. Nine, six. No, still not. 18 shots. Oh, that was going out. Over. Well, I thought he was going to leave it. Drift is going that way, it would have taken it wide. are just astonishingly quick. Sukumolio. Oh, now we've hit the 20 Five. shot mark. The longest rally of the match. 20 shots. Have a two point advantage now at the mid game interval here in the opening game. もうちょっとね、今さっき上げて出て1、2連続上げたら変わるね。自分の準備ちょっと少し1秒2秒。今ちょうどいい今準備ポジションね。もうちょっと仕掛け。そのマモロね。それでてあたのもチャンスももろね
lovely change of pace from so Gideon. That's clever. It may not look like uh, 13, a lot, but it's a 10. very, very clever shot. Not giving Kobayashi Whoa. any time at all. Extrovert Oi. character is Kevin Sanjay Sukumolio. Certainly a very confident young man. Fifteen eleven. Oh, that's what makes him so exciting to watch because he absolutely goes for everything. No holding back. Try some outrageous shots. change of pace from Kobayashi. 13, 16. Look at that. Guiding it into the open space. Super awareness. It by some considerable margin, but I think Gideon has challenged it. Called out. I didn't even think that was particularly close. Here we go. No, it wasn't close, it was miles out. What on earth is he challenge doing challenging successful. that one? One challenge remaining. 14 16. Deepness on the smash there from Sukumolio. Point in it. Oh, Aiming towards the right hip of the right hander. Stop. Oh. Over. 18, 16. 
16. Gideon. Sorry, on Sukumolio. Touch the net on his follow through. Yep, there we go. Good spot 18. by the umpire. Body touched the net. I think it was just too fast for the line judge. So we'll ask Hawkeye to tell us whether it was in or not. Indeed, it was in. In. Service over. 1917. Game point opportunities, three of them for Gideon and Supermorial. Oh. Yes. Superb from Gideon. 21-17, opening A. Well, this was a remarkable get from Sukumolio initially, but look at that defensive shot. Whipped it into the open space. で、そこ、相手のボディ大体この当たりみんな交わす前から、そこが ちょっと結構みんな早いから自分のタイミングしてか、ジュラスタリーちょっと息上げて間違えない。ちょっと準備足りないね。ね。ゆっくりね、サフ、サフレシも同じ。ちょっと自分見て相手ちょっと触って待てよ。い
Oh, what a return of serve. Just a little bit of topspin on that. That's amazing. And he stepped oh. into that smash as well. Service error, I think, of the match. Two, six. It's gone long. forward to the front of the court Kevin as much as he possibly can that's two consecutive service errors from Sukumolio Hoki and Kobayashi need a little run of points right now. Five, ten. We're running away from them rather quickly. I think we're only 21 minutes into the match. Already a game and 10-5 down. Again, he took with a six point advantage. The number one seeds, Gideon and Sukumolio. ちょっと
six. Absolutely always looking to oh. try and intercept. And the longest rally of the match at 25 shots. That's wild. Over. Obviously, want to try and 13, seven. aim towards the Sukumolio forehand defence. Oh. We've tried that a number of times, and it has been successful on occasion. Oh. There's no doubt Over. about it. Just don't know what to expect. Expect the unexpected, I suppose. Oh. Oh, Fifteen eight. Oh. Left stranded. Kobayashi. Oh, he created his own luck there. 17, 10. Oh, oh service, service fault called. Service over. Oh, he's made two service 11, errors. Now a service fault called on him. to wait for oh, place yeah. in the semi-final once again. Effective. Oh, don't believe it. was a backhand earlier in the rally from Sukumolio. It was just extraordinary. 
This one. Look at that. Well, I said earlier, expect the unexpected. Longest rally of the match at just 20, 28 shots. Match point opportunities. Match point, oh. Oh. Defiance oh. from Hoki and Kobayashi. Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukdomolio. 21 17, 21 15 in a match lasting just 30 minutes. Well, they really are a sensational pair to watch, that is for sure. 21 17, 21 15 confirms the umpire. That, and moments of magic. Well, what a day it's been here on quarterfinals day as the world number ones take leave of the court. They'll be back tomorrow, of course, for semi-finals day, but what a quarter finals day we've had. Sean Che of uh, Korea. The two left-handers in the mixed doubles uh, beat the Olympic silver medalists in three games. Then the beaten finalist from two years ago, the current world number one, Tai Su Ying. She needed three games, but she keeps her unbeaten record against Chen Fei of China. The Olympic champions uh, Tontoi Ahmad and Liliana Nasir had to save three game points in the opening game against the Danes Christiansen and four-time winner Pedersen, but they came through in two straight games. Chao Tian Chen, the silver medalist from the Asian Games, well, it was a real physical battle against the former world number one Son Wan Ho, but Chao Tian Chen coming through in an hour and 16 minutes. Then Anna Zantonsen was a game and, uh, sorry, was 17-20 down in the deciding game and then uh, won five straight points to close it out in an hour and nine minutes. Sina Nawal was a game and 6-10 down against the former world champion Nozomi Okuhara, but she came through in a match just two minutes shy of the hour mark. The number ones in the world, Fukushima and Hirota, were simply far too strong today for Ponapa and Reddy. And as we've just seen in the men's doubles, Gideon and Sukumolio, lightning quick against Hoki and Kobayashi. So that's it from quarterfinals day, semi-finals tomorrow, 9 a.m. local time. That's 0800 GMT from all of us here in Onza, especially from me, Jill Clark. We'll see you for semi-finals tomorrow. Bye for now.